U.S. president tells two different stories about the Israel-Hamas war in messages to people. President Joe Biden is delivering different messages on the war in the Middle East to pro-Palestinian and pro-Israel Americans, according to copies of official White House correspondence obtained by NBC News. It is noted that while one letter emphasizes Biden's support for Israel against the pure evil of terrorism, the other focuses on the administration's work to protect civilians in Gaza. Yet, the letters reflect the political tightrope Biden is trying to navigate as pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian elements of his coalition fray over the war. NBC News says that the form response sent to people who back Israel, generated by the White House Office of Presidential Correspondence and auto-signed with Biden's name, invokes the Holocaust in relationship to the October 7th terrorist assault by Hamas, pledges ongoing support to Israel and promises to prioritize the return of hostages. The people of Israel live through a moment of pure evil that resurfaced horrible memories and amounted to the deadliest day for Jews since the Holocaust. Biden writes, the United States stands with Israel, he continues. We will continue to ensure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself against terrorism in accordance with international humanitarian law. I will bring all resources to bear to secure the release of hostages held by Hamas, including our fellow Americans. But the mirror image response to pro-Palestinian letter writers makes no mention of evil, of the Holocaust or of American support for Israel. Instead, it focuses on providing aid to Palestinians, according to NBC News. We must always condemn terrorism when we see it. Biden writes to pro-Palestinian correspondents, but Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. It does not stand for the dignity of Palestinians. We mourn the many innocent Palestinians who have been killed. 